What's happening team? We're back, Professor Mike, Coach T, talking concepts again, ideas, things that underpin, you know, large swathes of jiu-jitsu, all right? You've got to know this stuff, all right? You can know a catalogue of techniques from the half guard. And that's no good if you can never win the underhook. And that's no good if you can never deny your opponent from taking a cross face. Of course, there are other techniques from there, but they're not as powerful, all right? So if we find ourselves in a position where our opponent wins the inside space position on us, We've got to have a strategy to get it back. Before that, we've got to know what the heck it is, right? So inside space, let's review this. Anything from the jawline down to the clavicle, this is inside space. Anything under the armpit, anything around the hips. There are other places for inside space too, but primarily if we're talking about controlling our opponent, we want to hide the inside space from our opponent and expose theirs. And the player who gets inside space will have a massive advantage when it comes to the position, all right? If that's on top and you're inside space, you'll keep your opponent down. If you're on the bottom and you're inside space, you've got a much higher percentage chance of getting the sweep, all right? Let's have a quick look what I mean in practical terms. We've been playing half guard all week, right? One of, this is one of the positions that fundamentally requires us to hide inside space and win inside space. Because at this point, we're kind of even. Right? They're on top, but I've got half a guard, so I'm halfway to the back, so we're kind of even here. So whoever starts to win inside space will start to advance through their position, and we are behind. So as, as an example, if our opponent wins head control on me here, even if I win the underhook, okay, he can still connect himself to me and win this position. All right? Good. So I can't allow this inside space to be controlled. So I've said before all week, when my opponent comes in, I will go two on one against that. One on one is 50-50. It's two on one, I'm gonna win. So I do not allow this arm to come to my neck in any shape or form. I don't even allow him to get a grip here. If he gets a grip here and pulls, he can start to collapse my position, makes it hard for me again to win inside space. So whatever we need to do here is he starts to come trying to fight, this is what we're doing. He doesn't get a grip on us, right? Whatever we need to do. Simultaneously, I need to expose this inside space to my opponent. And all week, we've been relying on him diving in and finding the elbow line, which will give me now the inside space. All right, but what happens, let's say our opponent re-pummels into that inside space? Well, I've got to re-pummel myself. It's the elbow that will do the work. And we don't hang about here. Once we get here, we go to our position where there's no longer a viable option for him to reclaim that inside space, okay? There's always the time though, right, where we do a good job here and maybe he gets the underhook, okay, from here. Now, in our half guard, we have to be active. If we lay still in this position, it's only going to get worse. We can only frame for so long one against one. He will re-pummel or beat us, and when he gets through, we know this is problematic, okay? So if I land in a position where we're here, straight away, I'm gonna clamp my legs together on my opponent's leg and roll my hips this way. Why? If he doesn't stretch this arm out, I'm gonna sweep him. So he has to. So I clamp, I clamp my legs together, okay? Heels in the mat, I roll. As he pushes his arm out, then I win the inside space. Got it? So we've got to be active in the half guard the whole time. In fact, we never should be really laid still. We should be constantly trying to move our opponent, firing for position, trying to find the inside space. Another great option is the knee shield, half guard. However you want to play it, here look. If I want to win inside space, I'll fire the knee through the gap. Very difficult for my opponent to stop, and I'll follow it with my elbow. Watch this. Into position. Let's not fire with the hand, because if we're not quick, he's going to re-pummel, beat me. Have to get him off balance, come back, win again. But we can always reclaim it, right? If we don't reclaim it, we're losing the position. You've got to understand that. Yes, of course, there's sweeps, you know, from every position in Jiu-Jitsu, but it's much harder if we end up here. If we end up here, we've got to deal with it, right? I'm going to clamp my legs together, I'm going to roll in this way, Right, and I'm back, and I'm safe again. 
All right? And you've got to constantly be moving to win that inside space. We can't allow it. Let's go see. We've got to have strategies for it. The best thing to do to understand this is to just be in these positions, man. Get yourself a partner, play around. All right, look at the pommel drill. Like, we all do this in jiu-jitsu, right? So, you know, the pommel drill here? We know this, right? It's the same idea. It's about finding a winning inside space. Then we say, go, and we fight for double unders, right? Whoever wins double unders, wins. We shake hands, we start again, right? It teaches us the importance of re-pummeling, of finding inside space and dominating our opponent physically. All right, so if we look back through the whole week, Monday we looked at the checkmate position, Lucas Leitch half guard position, relies heavily on inside space. But once you get there, it's so hard for your opponent to, to get back to some inside space, it's checkmate for a reason, you're gonna probably win. We've given you a series of sweeps, we've talked about what happens if you don't win it, Today we've talked about how we can reopen inside space and the importance of it. You know the position now. All you've got to do is go and practice. So with the academy's opening up in April, get yourself signed up, get down to Gracie Bar Round A Leeds, start your journey. All right, don't waste time. You're learning from the best guys in Leeds. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Take care.